everybody, it's Nettie Kay. Welcome back to my studio. This is Coco Chavot. He's my little studio pet. And today we're going to be working on a cow, a cow on linen canvas. And so I've got it toned and we're going to start uh, with, with this toned canvas and using um, a little bit of drawing with paint and some um, use of a rag as we take away some of the highlights in the beginning and it's a really cool process. I just had to redo the beginning of the tape because well I finished it all up and then I looked and I said oh my gosh I had big blue paint right under my nose so because I don't have a cameraman Coco Coco did not tell me that I had paint on my face so we had to start this part over but we'll get into it and now he just sees the cat so let's get on with our project I'll be right back Coco Bark at the cat. So uh, I'm going to figure out where the cow's, the top of the cow's head is. Uh, let's see, maybe a little bit lower. Now here's the cool part. I want it a little bit lower, so I just wipe it off, and I'm going to put it down about, let's see, about three inches. I'm just looking over here at my reference, and then I'll put the top of the head there, and then I know that the back of the cow is going to move up a ways, and then. Uh, it turns and then comes down. I don't want it to hit the edge. So, whoa, yeah, I'm trying not to hit the edge. And then I'm also going to have room for the ears. So I'll put the ears kind of coming out like this. And I'll uh, get kind of the head down here. I'm just trying to figure out how it all fits in. Here's a little shoulder. You want to make sure that there's plenty of space. I'm going to pull that out a little ways. Make sure I have enough room for the, the knee. This is almost a, a kind of a gesture drawing at this stage. And uh, so I'm, I'm just doing it in a gesturely type manner. Shoulder and, and this has got to connect up to the leg. So there we go, that connects up there. And there's a little hook there. And I will put on a little tail, even though there isn't one in the picture. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. And here's a fun way to double check because I'm going to now work in mass, which means I'm going to, instead of drawing, I'm going to take my, my paper towel with some thinner on it and I'm going to re-look at what I've just done. I'm going to take out the lights with my, my towel, with my paper towel with the thinner and I'm going to come down and, and just remove some of the paint uh, to, to show me what the lights and the shape of the light is right now. And I think I'm getting pretty close, a little more thinner. And so I'll come alongside like this and bring that down. If I make my cow just a little bit smaller, we'll be able to fit everything on. So I'm going to drive this home. And then I have, it's going to be over the eye. I'll put the eyes in here shortly. It's a little spooky without them. So if I make it just a little bit smaller, I think. So uh, we've got the head here and the shoulder coming out this way. A little more thinner. There's the light side of the leg. And that comes down, it looks like it almost fits, I hope. Oh, you never know. And our little hook down there. So isn't this kind of cool? It starts looking like uh, something already. So now I just made a clean spot on my rag again. Double checking the height of the cow. You might go right off the edge of the canvas. That's okay too. That's not a problem. Now I have my number eight um, filbert and I'm going to get some darker value on there, which is just uh, quinacridone magenta and sap green. Okay, now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to go in and put, kind of patch in a little bit of the ear, the dark uh, value inside the ear. 
And I really am seeing that I'm going to make these ears much smaller so that the cow's head appears to be bigger. Yeah, well, it has to be correct. And then I'll come down under that and then bring out the shoulder of the cow this way and give it the right amount of, of mass. So I'll just fill that in. I'm going to, ah, do I need a bigger brush for that? But I can just wiggle it in really fast. I'm putting that green in to darken it up like this and give it a nice fat shoulder and a little more of that sap green to go there. And then I'm going to cut this in. Let's see, double check. And that looks like a lot of magenta. That's okay. Um, we go here and then we'll bring the leg down at a slight angle coming in. There's a kneecap right about here. And then it slides out. Let me get my brush wet, make sure it's wet. And then it's dark and then it kind of comes up like this. Sometimes uh, my uh, students, my kids, especially the children, I, have, I teach both adults and uh, children, but they'll ask me, they'll say, Miss Nettie, do you always talk to yourself when you paint? It kind of helps when I say, okay, now I'm going to do this, 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 and this. And so it's nice to be able to turn the camera on and realize that I'm not just talking to myself. Okay, now I've added a little bit of teal to it just to give a little more punch to uh, the depth of color to the, the dark and now I'm going to come up here find where the nostrils are, the mouth, come across and then I'm going to scoop that down like this and make sure I got the shape right. Get back into our kind of magenta color. We have a dark area here. The kneecap is at the same spot as this one over here. Think about the, the anatomy of your critters, everybody. Some of us don't know what the anatomy really is all about, so, you know, we just have to really just look very, very hard at what we are painting or at our reference. And uh, so now I'm going to go back into the orange and a little bit of white so that I can see it. Ah, that doesn't look very orange. There we go. And then I'll just fill in the light part of the leg like that. A little ankle and then the, the feet come out like this. Boy, is that ever weird. Anyway, it'll come out just fine in the end. You'll see. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Combination of all of the above, which means magenta, teal, and orange. There's the dark area, and we come back in. Let's make sure we get the, the dark part in the inside of the ear right here. That gives me a little more room for the body when I make the ears just a little bit smaller. I had to make that adjustment, otherwise the scale was really, really off. And so here is the shoulder, and then it comes around, and then it connects up to that leg. Yay! That's great. Okay, a little bit of the orange color now. And we're going to come up midway in the top of the head. When you think, when you think in a um, kind of a symbolic way of something about a cow, you would not, you wouldn't just naturally put the, you know, the back of the cow up above the cow. But it really is what is happening in this particular picture, and it works. Okay. There we go. And now we're going to go back into our darks again. And I'm going to make sure I have room right here. This is where the belly comes up like this. And I'm going to put a dark, oh, that's green, um, dark uh, with, with our magenta and green and create this leg that kind of comes down like this. And this one comes at an angle. And then it splays out this direction, kind of like that. Not quite so dramatically, but you know, we'll get there. And then here's the other foot and leg behind. We won't be focusing too much on that leg behind, but that's just, uh, put it in there anyway. Okay, here's our dark, uh, dark rendering of the shadow part of the leg right here. I want that to come straight up into the body. And then our shadow here. 
Now at this stage I'm going to wipe my brush off and pick up a little bit of our transparent orange and I'm going to put that transparent orange into the leg on the light side of the, the leg. And then I'm also going to put it right on the outside of the, the edge of the cow. I'm going to add a little bit of white to it because I want it to look like reflective light as it comes around. And then also a little bit of orange and white for inside the ear right here. That looks great. And on the top, I'm going to get a big brush now. A one inch brush. Now we'll get in and we'll do our dark shadows to start with one more time. So we've got our teal and our quinacridone violet. And I'm going to come up here and double check where does it go in relation to the nose. I'm going to put it right like this and then curve the belly out. A little more of the red color. It looks too green. else do I see that? I see it oh, right in here. A little bit right there. And this is still pretty dark right there. Anyway, we're just doing this super loose, everybody. This is all we're trying to do. Now, I'm going to come in and try to figure out where the eye fits, which is usually right on the edge of the face and slightly below the ear. And it's not very big really really small there it is okay good now how about a little more of our ragging technique here you want to make sure that the top of the nose has a little bit of a light and right above the nose has a little bit of light that's kind of neat And I also want to give this a little bit of a stretch here for the bottom of the belly. Where there is sunlight and shadow, you take the, the rag and you just go, okay, well, I'm going to make this into a bit of a sense of sunlight uh, right there. And I'll go around this side, do the same thing. It's just a fun little effect. And then I'm also going to do the very same thing around the outside of the dark side of the cow. This is the dark side of the cow, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to move it in like that, and I'm going to take out a little bit of daylight around so that the cow looks really super dark on that side by making it light on the outside. And by using the transparent orange, it just really does it. I mean, it, it just looks like it absolutely glows, doesn't it? Wow, yeah awesome. I'm not making it totally, totally white or light all the way across. Like that, right up to the cow's leg. And I gotta clean it up. Little circular patterns. Isn't this interesting? I think it's just fascinating to watch. I'm sure. I'm even painting and I'm watching. I think it's fascinating. Okay. A little more terps. The more terps you use on a clean cloth, the whiter your uh, outcome is going to be. I have a little part that uh, splits the leg right here, so I'm going to put that in. Just an indication. I'm not real certain about it yet, but we'll see. And then, of course, on this side, it's not quite as light because this is the light side of the cow, but we'll, we'll make it a little bit light so that it feels as though it belongs. Good, here's a little more of that little fur right there. Isn't this cool? It's so fun. One more time. One more time. Over the eye, that bump over the eye, it pulls it right up. And uh, this part of the muzzle is really, really light, too. And it's a little bit light in a reflective kind of way over here. So 
So this is just our uh, negative and positive way of painting. Sometimes we get such a wonderful effect that I, I don't go back into the regular paint. I'll just, you know, do something of this nature and then just texture it or, or let it dry and glaze color over the top. It's so fun. So now I've got just uh, another layer of transparent orange on my brush. I'm going into this darker area right here and beginning to lighten it up as it goes out towards the light. So I'm wiping my brush off and grabbing a little more of the transparent yellow, transparent orange, and I'm going to lighten it as it moves out or as it moves up towards the light. Wipe the brush off. I think now I'm going to clean the brush. This stage now I have white with transparent orange, which just means there's more uh, white than there is transparent orange. And you see how I've just lit up the back of this cow's um, bum and around the shoulder and around the arm. Now a little bit more of the actual transparent orange with less white. brush right now I have a little bit of a lavender color and so I'm going to put a little bit of the lavender color into the shadow side of the face right here. I'm going to darken it up just a tad and uh, we'll put in a little bit of the lavender over the, the eye. It's just a fun thing way to bounce some color off and then I'll go in here where this is um, in the shade a little bit and uh, we'll begin to work some of that in. We have a little bit of uh, lavender happening into the nose, of the, or right across the bridge of the nose, and I'm going to give myself a little base of lavender up here, along with uh, some teal and lavender. Let's see, where do I want to put that? Right here, and then a little bit on underneath the eye right here, and along here. Okay, it's just really fun. So we'll put this like this, a little more shadow. So I'm just kind of establishing a few of the little shadows with my purples and teals underneath. And uh, let's see, the side of the face comes down like this. Got to make sure I don't lose that. And also, uh, while I've got this teal and purple on, I'm going to come down to the hoof and give it a little bit of a shadow side each one of them a little bit of a shadow. And this violet color and this one kind of comes up a little bit higher. And also I've got a sense of a little bit of a, a kind of a skin tone that's kind of coming out here. So I'm going to put a little orange and quinacridone violet right in here so it just feels a little fleshy right there. Oh and that's also a really good color for the bottom of that nose right there. Perfect. See that? Plus the little nostrils have got kind of a little heat in them there, so I'm going to add that color to it as well. There's also a little bit of an orangish color, uh, orangish purple color around the eye right here, so I'm going to just shape it out a little bit with that. And the same over here. And I'm going to grab uh, a little bit of, of just the permanent orange pour inside the ear here, and a little more, put it over on, uh, let's see, oh, it goes this way too, so a little bit there, and a little bit in here, and some on the top of the ear, a little bit like that, and then around the uh, shoulder, right into that light, that's kind of neat, a little more of the orange with a little bit of the white here. Uh, right about there. That's just glowing. Woo! I like that. And then I'm going to put the orange with, uh, it's a permanent orange with a little bit of the yellow and white. And we're just going to work it around here so it just glows even more. Good. Across there. 
little bit lighter on top of this ear. I think it's going to pick it up. And then there's a whitish color uh, going into almost a teal color that will pick up right there. A few little weird white hairs that come off of those ears a little bit like that. Now I'm going to go into something really drastic in that I'm going to pick up some white with some really light yellow and I'm going to go on top of that tail with that and then curl it up and, and make just some little curly cues like this with our white and yellow. Very, very, very bright right here. And this part is the top of the lid. There structure that goes up into the skull. Okay. Okay, a little more of that right here on the, the neck. Seriously, light yellow where it's at its lightest point. And then on the other side where it's white but in shadow a little bit, I'll put a little teal on that side. So I'm going to also do the teal onto the bridge of the nose on that part, particular side of the face. So a little teal, like this that and then maybe a little bit of a teal right there. This is a warmer color but it's still um, in the white realm so I'm going to give it a little bit of that light uh, kind of transparent orange color but it's got a, a little bit of junk from my brush in it and it works. And then we'll go back into the light blue teal and throw it in right here. Look at how zingy that is. Woo! Light. And then I'll take that and put it over here too. I like that. A little bit of fur. Some of the really fun colors that are happening are this violet with the orange and the teal. Okay, now at this stage I'm going to just go in with my little number eight. And uh, let's see, I want to make a really light kind of lavender color on the top of the nose right here, like that. And where else do I see that? Kind of around like this. And then I'm going to make the, the nostrils a little bit darker, a little bit of the orange and magenta, and put those back in a little bit there. They're little paisleys. Number six, letter J. Hey, this is super cool how, uh, you know, we've got this orange and violet thing happening and some teal. I just stepped back and I was all excited about it. I want to uh, give a little bit more definition in a few spots, but not too much because I want, I want to kind of maintain this super loose thing going on. But I don't want the cow's face to look like it's on the, you know, the wrong size either. So let's uh, see if we can correct a few little things without messing it up. There, that makes it look a little bit more sensible. Uh, but I wanted to just kind of enhance the light on the back of the cow right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of our um, orange. This is a permanent orange and some of our um, magenta color. And I'm going to put it in right here behind and then a little bit of our teal just for a minute and just kind of uh, work that in a little bit so that there's a, a beautiful light coming across the back of the cow and just glowing a little bit more. Now how about just a little more of that uh, that orange color. I'm going to get a little more orange just so it stays nice and warm and work it up here like this. Okay, so I'm putting this dark on top of the uh, the light part of the animal. 
because it will just really, really set that off and make it glow. And so uh, the, the light part of the head and all this looks so beautiful. And so, uh, and I put the teal in as, as a wonderful contrast as well. I don't want it to get so um, that there's a line between the cow and the, and the, uh, the background. I, I really want to make sure that it's still pretty rough and nice and loose like this. And then we'll lighten it up where there's dark. See how the dark side of the cow is dark and there's light behind it. And there's a light side of the cow and there's dark behind it. It's the contrast, people. So we just keep working that contrast, but not too much. Don't get too carried away. I don't want to wreck this thing. Okay, the eye right here. I need to make a little more of that beautiful orange color right underneath here and so that I have a little bit of a definition on the face just a little bit more not too much just a little more and then uh, as it, it kind of peels out over here or across the leg and makes that beautiful warm turn a uh, turn of events let's get a little I you know what I love I love that little mark right there so I want to make another one right there so it makes sense on the ankle that beautiful bright orange color Ooh, isn't that isn't that something all right so we're going to take a little bit of a break because the dogs in the entire neighborhood have lit up over a bear or something I don't know but they're just going bananas so I'm going to have to take a break and then I'm going to touch up a few things and I'll show you how it ends up in the end, okay? All right, see you in a minute. See, see you in a minute. Okay, then, whoop! <sighs> I hope so. Be right back. All right, I finally got the dogs to settle down and finished up a few more strokes on this painting. I'm really hoping that I'm not tempted to just go back in and try to make something photorealistic out of it. You know how we are? We just can't seem to stop. I'm stopping on this. And I'm also going to put this one and one other onto my Etsy site up for sale. I, this one took me two attempts to uh, do this video for you. And this is the first one right here. It looks kind of nice. I, I really like this one too, don't you? Anyway, so I'll have a couple of extra cows available on my Etsy site at nettykstudio.etsy.com and you're welcome to go on and take a look at them there. All right, so if you learned something and you would like to learn more, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again next time. Alrighty, bye-bye. And I will say I'm sorry. I'm going to... <laughs> Yeah, anybody want a dog? <laughs>